Hey, good morning, First Christian Church and West Point. Uh, it is uh, about 10, 15, uh, just left the hospital and um, uh, yeah, driving through town, I was like, man, there's a lot of traffic and there is. And I'm thinking, why is there so much traffic? Well, of course, people are traveling because uh, they're going places for Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving is tomorrow. So um, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you have a great time with your family. Um, I am standing in front of the new, brand new building, T-Mobile, coming to West Point. It's not open yet, but it will be soon. I don't know exactly when, but uh, yeah, it's about ready to open. And uh, it, West Point is growing, and I don't know if you've seen that. I don't know if you've noticed that, but there's lots of new stores coming in. And there's things that are happening downtown, and it's really great to see. Uh, I had no idea what West Point was going to be or what West Point is going to be uh, when I moved here five years ago. Didn't know the changes that were going to happen in my life five years ago when we moved here. I'm wearing bifocals now. I didn't have to before. I don't, that's just a part of it. Um, not a lot of announcements. We are not, not having Sunday night Bible study. So no Sunday evening Bible study because of Thanksgiving weekend. I do think uh, that the choir is going to practice uh, th Sunday night, but we will not be having Bible study Sunday night. And then I was thinking, what am I going to talk about in the Bible today? Well, Sunday evening, we just finished up Hebrews. And it was amazing. Going through the book of Hebrews, them recognizing everybody being involved, reading from first chapter all the way through the very end, people seeing how there's that warning there about don't slide backwards, don't go back. Don't go back to the way that you used to. And, and someone asked, Eric, what are we gonna do Sunday night? What are we gonna do, to, uh, uh, are we gonna do, what's the next book we're gonna do? Well, after you finish Hebrews, you gotta do the book of James. And that's where we're gonna start, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Sunday night, we're gonna be starting the book of James. So I thought I would do the weekly update from a, a little bit from the book of James. Listen to this. L listen carefully. James chapter one, starting at verse 22, and I'm gonna read 22, 23, and 24, says this. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. Don't listen to it. Don't just listen to it. Do what it says to the word. This, this book, don't just listen to it. Do what it says. Then it goes on. It says, anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. You, you, you got to put it into practice. You got to do it. Don't, don't listen to it and then forget. Don't just look in the mirror and forget what you look like. Do what it says. Love you guys. See you Sunday morning. All right. Have a great Thanksgiving. Bye, everybody.